Thank you, Dean Carrero, for those very kind words. Um, and I, in turn, will tell you, I've worked with a lot of deans, a lot of vice presidents um, at a number of institutions, and I will tell you all, you could not ask for a better dean of our College of Osteopathic Medicine than Jane Carrero. She is a, she exemplifies the phrase that big, big things come in small packages, and she is <laughs> truly a force of nature. So, thank you and good afternoon to our UNE faculty, our professional staff, our honored guests, and especially our new students, student doctors. Um, I'd like to echo what Dr. Carrero said just a few minutes ago about our, our friends and family in Morocco. So I've been working on this all morning since we heard of the devastating earthquake. I'm very happy to report that all of our students, our faculty, our professional staff, and our related colleagues are safe in Tangier. Um, but there are many people, over a thousand people have lost their lives, and there's great devastation in the south central region of the country. We are, and I put out about an hour ago a statement to the UNE community, and we're looking for the ways that we can help our colleagues, because Morocco is in, in many ways our second home, given our campus there. So we'll be looking for ways that we can help. And, Dean Carrero talked about the theme of sacrifice and how you, this, this vocation, in fact, I would go more than say a vocation, it's a lifestyle that you've chosen. And it will, uh, there, there are many times you will sacrifice. Many physicians and other healthcare professionals right now as we speak are sacrificing in Morocco to help the, the people, the communities that have been devastated there. And there will come a time when you will have your opportunity to help as well. And I know that all of you will make that sacrifice as well to help your own communities. So thank you. And on happier notes, it's, a, it's my pleasure to welcome and to congratulate the newest members of the UNE community and of course their families. Members of the class of 2027, you've worked very hard to achieve your goal of entering medical school. And not just any medical school, but the country's best medical school. <laughs> And don't get me started on explaining why I believe that statement to be true, or else we'll be here for a couple of hours and with me going on and on on my soapbox. So I'll refrain, but I do believe that. Today marks uh, a transition in the way you'll be viewed by the public and the way that you should view yourselves. Beginning today, you're no longer merely students, you are student doctors. And when someone hears the term student doctor, there's a different level of expectation. One which assumes a very high level of integrity, dedication, and maturity. In addition to knowledge and skills acquisition, a student doctor is also someone who's learning how to listen, how to learn from their mistakes, and, as I said before, how to make sacrifices. With this in mind, today you'll join the ranks of many talented, hardworking medical students who've come before you. And the path you've chosen to follow could not be more important. More than 40 years ago, this college was created by a group of osteopathic physicians who wanted to ensure that the people of New England received the best possible medical care. At the time, many osteopathic physicians were reaching retirement age. Failure to replace them would have represented not only a loss to the profession, but more importantly, to the patients who had come to rely and depend upon osteopathic care. So, a group of physicians worked to establish an osteopathic medical school to serve the six New England states, and the College of Osteopathic Medicine was born. In 1978, it welcomed 36 pioneering students and 12 faculty members to a newly renovated Stella Maris Hall. Today, our College of Osteopathic Medicine continues to be the only medical school in Maine and in northern, the only osteopathic medical school in northern New England and it offers some of the very best medical education facilities in the nation, while enrolling near, nearly 700 students and employing more than 250 faculty members. It has been recognized for excellence in primary care, geriatric education, and osteopathic manipulative medicine. Meanwhile, as the college has evolved, UNE has grown to become a world-class university that also trains other healthcare professionals, including dentists and pharmacists, just to name a couple, to create the healthcare teams of tomorrow. 
Our medical students are among the best and the brightest in the country, and you are in high demand. Thanks to the reputation former students have earned, our current students do quite well in procuring their top choices of residency programs. Our graduates also rank high for mean scores on all three parts of the National Osteopathic Licensing Exams. Students, by the time you graduate, you will possess the expertise and knowledge to succeed in any area of the medical profession. Over the course of your years with us, you'll gain experience in team-based care and, cr and clinical experience in a wide range of primary care settings. You'll be ready to work with diverse populations and to provide the highest quality of care. And more than that, you will forge another important link in the enduring legacy our students and faculty have built through the decades. During a period of great change in medicine and medical education, the UNE College of Osteopathic Medicine has remained true to its core commitments of putting the patient first, caring for one another, the community, and the environment, and creatively shaping the future while preserving the profession's past. These principles have molded generations of students into leaders at the local and the global levels, and they will, no doubt, mold you too. So again, welcome to the UNI family. I wish you nothing but the very best as you continue the exciting journey that lies ahead. Thank you very much.